Well, hello, my friends, and happy Sunday to you. I am in love with the project that we did today. Um, so let's take a look at the, the project and the supplies. So look at this goodness. Um, yeah, I I love it. I, I love it. <laughs> I, there are no other words except I love it. I, the texture, the clouds, how it all came together, the meaning. Oh uh, my goodness. So I can't wait to share it with you. Anyway, and this is, I did this on an 11 by 14 MDF board. I'm going to set this aside and well, I won't set it aside. I'm just going to scooch this over. So for the background, um, I just, I chose papers that, I did a lot of vintage book papers that had some kind of meaning with the the quote and the feel of my idea. Um, postcards and different things like that that had some meaning to me. And then I came back and I spray painted, um, which, where did I do it? Um, Liquitex uh, acrylic spray paint, which is one of my favorite things. And I used um, this this one. This one. Where's the dictionary page one? Uh, it's in this. I I tell ya. So there's the dictionary page, and then the love the love one and the uh, rest breathe restore. I don't know the exact name. You would think I would know the names of my own stencils, but I don't. Um, so the dictionary page and then I use these three other ones. I wanted words in the background. I wanted that black that kind of activated my my process, my thought process, how I was feeling. And I love that they show up in all the right places. Um, okay, so that was the background. And then I went to town. I, oh, and I also used words in the background. So let's see, there's a couple of spots in here where you can see some of the words that I put down, like right here. Different things that I just went through a magazine and just pulled out things that spoke to me with regards to what I was thinking about and paint, wanted to paint. Um, put those down. And then I came back with some Deco Art Crackle paint. And I, I, I know that... I usually got this on Amazon um, or referred you to Amazon, but Amazon's not carrying this anymore, but you'll have to go to DecoArt Media's um, website to get it, but this is the best crackle ever. Um, it just dry. It started cracking right away, and um, of course, you know, different environments and things like that will, you know, change it a little bit, but uh, it's just the best. So I just layered in spots my crackle and then this is um coarse modeling paste and it is the most textural like earth feeling kind of it's almost like texture sand if you've ever used texture sand but not quite as gritty um, so it's it's like a, a perfect happy medium kind of thing and then I grabbed some super heavy gesso and kind of filled in in some of the other places. And I made sure to leave um, some blank spots too, uh, so that all the other underlayer papers would show through. And then I used I used my palette knife to do that. Um, and then I broke out the paints and acrylic inks. I used a lot of acrylic inks on this uh, because I really wanted it to feel earthy and un inconsistent. So uh, Liquitex acrylic inks, neutral gray, turquoise deep, carbon black, uh, raw umber, or transparent raw umber, uh, muted gray, which is my, f this, this muted gray color. Oh, yeah. I love it. Uh, quinacridone magenta and this um, muted violet is also, it's like a real close to that muted gray. It's so pretty. I also used a little bit of this um, dark green light. It's a matte acrylic, some green gold, some olive green. To, and I watered those down because I didn't have the right colors in my acrylic inks and I wanted the, I knew the color that I wanted. And then I used, I mixed a little bit of this burnt sienna and Naples yellow together to kind of get just this tiny touch of 
orangish hue back in there. Prussian blue for part of my clouds and part of the sky. I used a lot of regular gesso um, in, mixed in. Um, I used matte gel and fluid matte medium, papers and different things like that. Um, and then I used a charcoal pencil, a black soft pastel for any additional marks and shading because I did a lot of just kind of somewhat scribbly, inconsistent marks around in here. A uh, fan brush to do some splatters. Uh, I used a flat brush and then a small round brush to, and I used a um, filbert brush too for my clouds. And I think that's it. I'm just taking a look at my palette to see if I left anything off. I don't think I did. Um, yeah. Okay. I think that's it. Okay. Um, I, I got lost. I just, I looked up and hours had passed. Well, not hours, but like two hours had passed from when I started to when I finished. And um, wow, it's awesome. <laughs> I love that. Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoy the project and I can't wait to share the quote and the meaning and everything with you at the end. I'll, uh, the quote says, breathe, connect, gratitude for progress. Remember the ground beneath my feet. And um, Morgan Harper Nichols inspired that and I can't wait to share that with you. So I hope you enjoy the project and I'll see you at the end of the video.
right, my loves, I hope that you enjoyed that as much as I did. Um, it just was such a joy to create and such a peaceful place. And um, that's exactly what I wanted. Always. I mean, creating is always just this incredible, peaceful place for me. So a um, couple of things really quick. All the supplies will be, um, there'll be a link down below in the YouTube description box for you. Uh, members, if you're watching this, you have a breakdown of all the Sunday inspirations. It's in the membership site. And then um, the stencils that I used today will be on sale. Um, and the original will be on sale. Or not on sale, but available. Okay, I think that's it for now. Um, so let's take a look. So for this piece, I really, really wanted this the the ground to be spectacular. Um, I, I wanted the sky because that's you know the separation between earth and sky. I mean, yeah, earth and sky. But um, I really wanted this to feel. I wanted to feel the layers, the depth, the, the ruggedness, the unevenness. I wanted it to be all of that because so often everyday life feels like we're, we're just um, on this you know, path that's really treacherous sometimes. And then the quote says, breathe, connect, um, gratitude for progress, remember the ground beneath my feet. Um, it just, I wanted all the colors because it just kind of represented to me the layers of my life, the, the, the seasons of my life, um, and that solid ground beneath my feet. I wanted all of that, um, to be represented here. And so, um, this week I, I get an app, I'm, I have an app from Morgan Harper Nichols, and I, if you followed me at at all, you know how much I love her. She is a constant inspiration in my work. Her writing is amazing. Um, and so I get an app and it's a new um, kind of reading every day. And this one was titled Trusting Uncertainty. And I thought, oh boy, is that ever relevant for right now. Um, but the big bold quote says, in this exact moment, you are free to exhale. Be still. Do not do a single thing. Even if it's just for a moment, you are free to simply be. That's kind of like the start of this. And she goes into explaining that, um, I want to find the, uh, the, 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 you know, there's always a line when you're reading something that makes you like pause so, um, okay, here it is. So, um, it may not seem like enough, um, wait, no, that's not right. Um, taking the time to inhale and exhale mindfully is a slow yet meaningful way of coming down from anxiety and remembering that beneath the threshold of change, the ground is still beneath your feet. So I suffer from anxiety and I've shared that and I've shared my journey with it and how I manage it and all of that. Um, and yet with um, just world events and things like that over the last few years, um, it's, it's definitely been a challenge for so many people just because it feels like there's so many unknown things happening. But when she said, um, Inhale and exhale mindfully. So I, while I was reading it, I just kind of closed my eyes and I breathed in and I breathed out. And it was, it was um, a settling moment. It was just like this real, because I could hear my breath and it got real quiet. And um, I went on to read, the ground may not feel as steady as you want it to be. And there's nothing wrong with addressing the sense of shakiness that you feel. But even here, May you never take for granted even the smallest glimpse of steadiness. May you continue to have gratitude for the smallest signs of progress. 
I it just I was like it felt like oh it felt like water in a thirsty garden I just was soaking it in um, and that's why I put that on my piece that breathe connect gratitude for progress remember the ground beneath my feet and um, I was so encouraged by that I was so moved by it um, and as I was reading it I could see it come to life as I created it and um, so I want to encourage you today in all of the shakiness even if the ground doesn't feel steady I was thinking about that so it's I've, some days I feel like and this is going to be a funny analogy but some days I feel like I'm walking in high heels on rocks like at any moment I could tip over twist my ankle or something that's what life feels like sometimes and um, even when things feel shaky and we're unsure and maybe you deal with anxiety or something like that and we just don't know what the future is going to hold which is most of the time um, I want you to remember in this moment today to like take a second to breathe we're busy we're doing our things we're worrying we're overthinking we're all of the things um, take a second to breathe and be grateful for a second for small progress whether that progress is in you or in your family or in your work life or in your neighborhood or in your so on and so on small progress is something to be grateful for something that we can focus on and I'm preaching to myself it's something that I can focus on right in this second focus on gratitude it changes everything it changes my anxiety level it changes my mood it puts a smile on my face I am calmer when I have a second to focus on gratitude even if things feel uncertain and shaky I'm remembering the ground beneath my feet and I want to always remember that steadiness in my life for me that steadiness is my family my my hubby my faith um, that that underlying steadiness the, the ground beneath my feet what is your ground where are you grounded remember what that is be grateful for it and be grateful in this moment. Take a small second to breathe and remember small progress is reason to celebrate. It's reason to be grateful. And as soon as we start to look at the things that we have to be grateful for in this craziness that we call life, the deeper I breathe. The more smiling happens, the calmer I am, and it changes my whole being when I can remember what I'm grateful for. All right, my loves, I hope this project, the words inspired you, and I hope that you find your small progress in whatever area and any moment to be grateful for that you know what your ground is you know what the earth is beneath your feet um, and that you can celebrate gratitude today all right my loves have a wonderful Sunday and always always know that you are loved <laughs>